I don't think that it should be that one country is leading. So I, uh, I'm, it is very good that uh, the, if we can even have three, four, five countries that are competing to know who will be the best, you will see that citizens from all different countries, they will work hard. So it is healthy, in my opinion, it's not a bad competition. Uh, U.S. should not think that they are the leader for everything, you know. If China can also show that they can do something, for me, it is very good. So maybe even more players is better. Yes, more players. But now we also, I was hoping that one day Africa will also race and also come to the, the race and see uh, if we can also compete. But uh, for us, we need more funding, financial funding uh, to, to be in, in the race. The approach of, uh, you know, uh, interacting, interacting with uh, Chinese and interacting with American, it is different. For them, we are monkeys. So I can come to China without visa. But when I go to America, I need visa. You see, I don't know what, how the equation is. It is very unbalanced. I think uh, you should keep with your good approach, seeing Africa as a human being, trying to make sure that we work together as partner. America, China, I will prefer China. China is actually representing the voice of the global South. I have idea that maybe 30 years ago, China was not like this. And that it is the determination of young Chinese, of the government of China, to say that we will make sure that our next generation is good and we work hard for you to be at this level. If I was in charge of Africa, I will not ask help from anyone. I will make sure that I work hard. I will make sure that I educate my kid. I will make sure that I give my kid knowledge that is necessary for our continent to develop so that they should understand that all brands are the same. So that is my perspective.